I don't question. want to, I do not want an your question. An excellent question? No. A smart question? No, my time, An intelligent my, question? You have no smart or intelligent questions. <laughs> <laughs> Chair now recognizing Mr. Garcia for five minutes. Thank you. That was a lot. Um, uh, I want to remind the, the gentle lady that it was her that actually organized a trip to the D.C. jail to hug and high five and sit with the insurrectionists that actually attacked our capital. So if we're talking about the safety of D.C. and the capital, it's just quite, I think, ironic. This is all facts. This is quite ironic that uh, the insurrectionists that had tried to overthrow our government in the capital city um, were being coddled. We're, being, we're, we're actually being coddled by, it's a, quite a shame that you call them political prisoners or hostages, I think maybe you called them. They're actually, they actually try to, they actually try to overthrow Chairman. our government. Let me continue Mr. with Chairman, my time. She's not recognized. Thank you. So I, I think it's quite um, interesting that um, my colleague wants to try to talk about the safety of D.C. Uh, when she literally supported an insurrection, an attack on the Capitol, visited the prisoners. I, I was there as one of two Democrats there as part of that visit on behalf of this committee um, and seeing her high five uh, folks that want to overthrow our government. So quite ridiculous. Um, she, uh, and if she's so interested in fixing Washington, D.C., she should maybe she should run for mayor uh, of D.C. It's what she seems to be interested in. She's obsessed with everything going on. I just want to remind folks that D.C. and the district has a mayor. They have a city council. They're trying to pass uh, regulations. Uh, they're trying to work. There's, there's definitely challenges. They're working very hard on those. Um, and overall, let's remember that crime all across the country has actually decreased over the last couple of years. It has not increased, it's decreased. And with that, I yield back my time. Well, 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 but Mr. Uh, would you yield? Absolutely. Uh, thank you very much for your trenchant remarks, Mr. Garcia. Um, trying to pierce through the, the fog of uh, propaganda, confusion, disinformation, and just lies that we just heard, um, the, the distinguished gentlelady, who I'd be very happy to yield some of my time to to answer the question, started off by complaining about the murder rate in Washington, the carjacking in Washington, and gun violence. And I'm, uh, the question that I wanted to pose to the gentlelady, which um, she anticipated as a stupid question, was simply what she thinks in this legislation that we're here to discuss, uh, 5798, will bring down the murder rate or bring down carjacking, or bring down gun violence in Washington. Because uh, the sole purpose of the legislation, as I can read it, is simply to say that the chief of police no longer has disciplinary authority over his or her own police force, but instead it will be subject to collective bargaining. Now, that might be uh, a great policy for the general ladies. Uh, district in Georgia. I'd be interested to know where the municipalities in her district are on that question. But in any event, the people of Washington, D.C. have dealt with this repeatedly. We've got a letter right here, which I submitted for the record, from 12 out of 13 members of the D.C. City Council saying, please don't change our law. We have the statements of four different chiefs of police saying, please don't ch change our law. We've got cops who've been convicted of sexual violence, sexual assault, domestic violence, and I'm not even certain the general lady from Georgia understood what she was speaking for because she was talking about the murder rate and carjacking, and unless she's saying that police officers who may be removed from the force in D.C. for having committed a sexual assault or domestic violence are more likely to help bring down the murder rate, then her remarks are completely nonsensical. Um, it was much ado about nothing. So thank you for allowing me to make that point. I yield back to you, Mr. Garcia. But would uh, the gentleman yield to a question? Sure. Uh, you mentioned that crime was down nationwide. Then why isn't it down in Washington, D.C.? Well, any idea? I mean, I, 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 let me just say, I, mean, I, I served as mayor of a city of half a million people for eight years. Crime trends go up and down. You look at overall crime rates, you look at violent crime. But crime overall across the country has gone down. Not everywhere. There are areas of, of Kentucky and, and other, other places in the country that crime has gone up. Louisville. But why? But if we're so focused on just D.C., then we should focus on places like Kentucky and Arkansas and Texas and other cities where crime is also slightly going up. And well, so, and if the gentleman would yield on absolutely. that point, uh, there have been increases in different categories in crime in the gentlelady's own uh, state that she represents, Georgia, 
if collective bargaining is the solution to that, would she support collective bargaining for public workers in Georgia? Absolutely. Because it's not allowed there. And she doesn't seem to understand that she just became a champion of collective bargaining and the right to organize a union. And I would invite her to come back to proclaim her new pro-union sympathies publicly for her own state as well. We, we would support her on the PRO Act, actually, if you would like to vote for the PRO Act. Gentlemen's time's expired. Do any other members wish to be recognized?